Hi folks, I'm Maria with the PandaDoc product team. Have you ever wanted for the content of your proposal to change dynamically based on what the sales rep or the end user, the recipient of the document, has selected in a quote? This is very helpful for defining the terms of service for a particular plan. or inserting custom master service level agreements. And now it's possible when using PandaDoc CPQ, both in a standalone template with a quote and in scope of a workflow. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to set up a rule that triggers conditional content in your template. Let's start with a standalone template. Go inside the quote block that you want to trigger your content and create quote variable. I'm going to name mine selected plan. Now I'm going to go into the rules tab and create a rule. I'm going to put it at the very end of my rule list that sets the selected plan variable. So I'm gonna filter the line item that is selected. So it has selected true. So this condition is gonna return only the selected line item and I'm going to set to update my quote variable named selected plan with the value of the line items name. Here's my rule. I'm saving it. I'm making sure that, uh, it's working. It's set to work. And now I can test it right in the quote block on a template. So I'm selecting essential plan. An essential plan uh, is one that goes into a variable, I'm selecting pro plan subscription, and it's the one that goes into selected variable. So it's always going to change after a user changes their selection. Now that it works as intended, I can save my quote and return to a template. Now that I'm back in the template, I can check the list of the variables available on the template level. If I search for the quote variables, I will see that all of the quote variables I have created in my quote have automatically propagated into my template. So I can use them as the triggers for smart content rules. So I go down a bit and I create the usual smart content block that is triggered by the selected plan variable. This way I make sure that my smart content is updated every time this variable is updated. You can use the same logic in scope of a workflow as well. Just remember that, the, that even though I'm using the same template uh, I'm using as a standalone template, I need to recreate my quote logic. That is both the variable on the quote level and the rule I have shown you once again in a workflow, because this quote step is actually a quote that is separate from the template. So I'm going to go into my quote step. and create the selected plan variable again. I'm going to go into a rule list and create a similar rule. The rule is exactly the same as before. So I'm saving the quote step in a workflow and I'm going to the documents tab 
I check my data tab, I refresh it to make sure all the quote variables are set correctly. I see my selected plan variable on the data tab of the template as well. It cannot be mapped into because it's connected to the quote. Now it's time to publish my workflow and see and how the conditional content works in the scope of a workflow. So I'm selecting my workflow playbook from a HubSpot deal. Selecting my plan and duration as well as add-ons on the form side. Checking my quote. Even at this point, I can check that my selected plan variable filled in properly. Assigning deal contacts onto roles. The plan description has generated accordingly because this is a lightweight editor in step. Uh, the salesperson is not able to change plan to select a different plan at this point, but they will be able to do so in Pandadoc and the recipient of the document will be able to change selection as well. So you're set and done and you can use conditional content to send tailored proposals uh, to your prospects and customers. Join us for more tips and tricks with Pandadoc CPQ.